Today is very exciting because one of our favorite motorcycles we tested last year is back here at the office. This was on our list of the top five best bikes that we rode all year last year. It's a BMW R 1250 RS. What do you think, Alex? Yeah, there's uh, those lists are always really fun to put together and there's a few really good reasons this bike made that list for uh, 2023. And we saw it was still kicking around in Denver. So we were like, hey, BMW, we want this thing back. We need to do some more videos with it. Cause we covered a lot with it, but there's so much to this bike. There's just so much more stuff we can dive into and show off on camera. And any more time that we get to spend with this motorcycle is time well spent because this is a great all around package. 1,254 cc boxer engine, 136 horsepower, 105 pound feet of torque. So it's a powerhouse. It's also a beast. It weighs around 560 pounds and it costs around $16,000. So it's a hefty motorcycle in really all categories, but there's so much good about this bike. If I power it up and you look at the screen there, you'll see it's got a really nice instrument cluster that lets you do a lot of things. On my way here today, it is just a little over 40 degrees out. So what I did, is I went ahead and hit this switch here on the handlebar to get me to the menu for none other than my heated handlebar grips and my heated seat. And it's pretty cool, you've got different like settings for it too. I thought it would just oh, be yeah. on and off. So. Exactly, no, there's five different settings and really, really nice thing to have. Now this whole menu system that they've got does take a, a little bit of just practice and getting used to. So you've got the scroll wheel here like you have on a lot of other BMW motorcycles. If you've used other BMW motorcycles, then you know how this works. It's not too hard to get used to. It does take just a little bit of practice, but really nice tech on this screen, not least of which this proximity key also nice thing to have, just stuff it in your pocket and then you hit that power switch there on the triple tree and then you're good to go. And there's, yeah, there's a lot with this motorcycle and also really nice components. We've got Brembo brakes, uh, it's a shaft drive bike, you know, inverted forks. I mean, this is all really good stuff, which is one of the things that makes this one of our favorite motorcycles. It's, it's just a jack of all trades. Yeah, this is, uh kind of this would be my top pick for a commuter bike for a long you know cross-country road trip just going up in the canyons there's a lot you can do with this bike and i'm glad you started with the tech package because uh you know i i really do think this is one of the best looking screens uh in in the industry and it's funny i was listening to you talk about these controls it does take a little getting used to but at the same time it's funny looking at this, like that doesn't look so cluttered in 2024. There's so many bikes with a million yeah. switches on them. So that doesn't even look too bad. And then this bike's got a bunch of the option 719 um, add-ons to it. So you can see like the engine cases on the side just gives it, you know, a little more protection and also improved look. Exactly. Now I got to do a little bit of riding obviously on the way here. So we'll cut to some of that footage. Now let's talk about what makes this such a good bike for one it is quick <laughs> make no mistake this bike cruises it's not a light motorcycle but man it's got some top end and that makes it a lot of fun to ride it's also a really good handling bike we're obviously not on very twisty roads right now but trust me this bike can go around corners with the best of them and despite all of that it's still not a high strung, uncomfortable motorcycle. Smooth, relatively plush suspension, which BMW has been doing a great job with going way back. You look at the old R series air cooled bikes that BMW is so famous for building. This to me rides like a modern version of one of those. It's fairly plush. It's a good long distance motorcycle. But it's just amazing the way that this can go around corners and still be as comfortable as it is. And it's the same for the riding position. You do have a, a relatively sporty riding position. I'm lean forward, my feet are up fairly high, but I'm not so lean forward that I'm uncomfortable. So it just feels like the perfect mix of everything that you could want for a motorcycle to do. It is sporty, 
it is comfortable, it is smooth, it is powerful, it handles, you get a bit of wind protection, you got good technology, great build quality. Ah, oh, such a nice bike. Uh, I'll be honest, this is not so much my style visually. I don't think it's the most beautiful motorcycle on the market. Not that it's an ugly bike either, but it's it's the ride that makes this so appealing. Sounds pretty decent too. They keep this bike nice and quiet from the factory. Uh, and really to take advantage of this wind protection, I do have to duck down a little bit because it's not obviously not a super tall windshield. Now let's get merged in here. This bike just has a fantastic ability to do everything that you want it to do. Like I said, it's a great handling bike. It's a super solid highway bike. Uh, it's very stable, very happy to cruise at speed. It's got plenty of gearing for it. It doesn't feel high strung at all on this kind of riding. Yeah, it's just good. I really have very little to say bad about this bike. It is expensive. So there's that. Now, I can't afford this motorcycle. It's part of the reason that this isn't my bike. This is a press bike from BMW that they were nice enough to loan to us again. But yeah, I, uh, I can't afford it. I kind of wish I could because I would spend a lot of time riding one of these. There's no doubt. God, all the controls are so light on this bike too. The throttle pull is light, clutch is light, shifter takes very little effort. It's such an easy motorcycle to ride and it's also a motorcycle that makes you want to ride at your best because the way that this bike is engineered it always feels on point and so it makes you want to ride at your best. You want to be on point to take advantage of how on point this motorcycle's character is. It's just a great performing motorcycle despite its weight and despite the fact that it's pretty heavy and pretty plush. I also want to say a quick thanks to our partners over at Rider Justice. Scott and the team there have been supporting our channel basically since day one. So if you're ever in an accident anywhere in the country, whether it's on a motorcycle or in a car, make sure you call Scott first. So that's it. We have this motorcycle for at least a week. We might even have it for a bit longer than that. And we want to throw out to everybody who's watching what do you want to see us do with this motorcycle while we have it? Because we've got some decent weather here in Colorado. And again, any time that we get to spend riding this motorcycle is time well spent because it's such a nice bike to ride. So that's all for this video. Thanks to Alex behind the camera and we'll see you in the next.